Hey everybody. Let's say you have a hard, a hard disk drive you're wanting to back up. But you don't have any extra hard disk drives to use. Or you don't want to have multiple physical drives connected up to a physical machine. At a given time. For example I have this little laptop hard drive hooked up to the Midtire Lux. I want to back up its data using a partition to partition copy program. I don't want to do the, I don't want to just manually copy files. I want to do a partition to partition. So what you can do this in like let's say Windows 7 is to create a virtual hard disk drive. So basically what I'm going to do here is go to start right click, right click on computer and say manage. Now you click on disk management. And to the right up here you're going to click on more actions. You can see there's some options here. Like refresh, rescan disk, create hard, um, virtual hard disk drive, attach virtual hard drive, and you got some more tasks over there. You got view and all that stuff. We're going to select create virtual hard disk drive. I'm going to browse for the location. I'm going to store this one on my solid state drive. And I guess I'll place it just right there on C. And give it a name. I'm going to call this TV box. Click save. We'll specify a size. I'm going to say 64 gigabytes. Don't do it that way. You need to have actually have it like this. 64 gigabytes. And I'm going to say this as dynamically expanding. This is the way that uh, many virtual hard disk drives are actually configured. Not sure why it recommends fixed size. Of course, I clicked OK. Now, if we have a look, we should be able to see our drive. 64 gigabytes unallocated. Now, of course, if you want to, you can go ahead and, and um, we need to go ahead and initialize the disk. It's like doing a brand new hard disk drive. We want to use the master boot record to do this one. If it's over two terabytes, you'll need to use the GPT. Now this disk is online, and now you can either do new simple volume, or you can go into your software and begin the partition to partition copy process and during that process it should set a partition on this drive so anyways that's how you can virtually create an extra hard drive for whatever reason you need to have one without having to have extra hard disk drives on hand provided your host computer has enough space so anyways any questions or comments feel free to ask and thanks for watching